This is the first time I've ever done this. A little scared. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. This week I'm testing out different handstand workouts on YouTube to find one, the best one, because you know, who doesn't want to learn how to handstand? <laughs> And two, hopefully improve my own handstand in the process. I can do a handstand decently well right now, but it's not consistent, and I know my form could use some work. One, two, three, jump! I'm going to go through all the contestants, which are a combination of extremely popular and personally recommended channels, and give you my final verdict at the end. So let's get into it. of Gabo a couple years back when he was on Thenix videos and I followed his transition when he moved to his own channel because his videos are really good. He's clearly very talented. I already know I love his flexibility follow along and calisthenic workouts so I was pretty sure I'd like his handstand workouts too. The first video I tried of his was a 15 minute daily handstand routine for all levels. Now I'm usually pretty suspect when a video says all levels especially when it's only 15 minutes long. It's kind of like one size fits all underwear you know like how is that gonna work? The video starts with a warm-up. Kudos for that, I love when a follow along has a proper warm up in the beginning. Then it proceeds into a series of handstand holds showing multiple different kinds of progressions so you can choose what's best for you. And in between reps you either rest with a hamstring flexibility or shoulder mobility drill. One thing that I really liked about this video is that you combine drills that you can do back to back, like a shoulder drill then a core drill, so you can rest appropriate muscles while activating others. A very time efficient workout, cause you know sometimes you only really have 15 minutes so each second you gotta use wisely. Even though it was only 15 minutes long, this workout was super tough. Even he was gassed and he's clearly at the advanced level, so dude is sweating pretty hard. Next I watched one of his videos on how to kick up into a handstand, which was not follow along style, but a lot of really good information. And interesting because I'd never watched a tutorial specifically about the kick up. So I learned some new things. Shoulder width is way closer than what I thought it was. Like I thought shoulder width was like that. That's basically how I've always done handstands. Look make you see it better. That. Oh, you can even tell that it's wider than my shoulders. I basically always done handstands like this. But Gabo is basically saying I should change two things. One, these pointer fingers should be pointing forward, so it should be rotated like that. And two, shoulder width should actually be something like that, which seems really close together for me. And lastly, I did his follow along handstand core workout. Oh lordy, that hurt a lot. It was really tough. He takes you through the routine once, which is about four minutes long, and tells you to repeat it three times. But I'll be honest, when Gabo stopped, I stopped. Four minutes was enough for me. I told myself it was justifiable because I already did a couple of his videos beforehand, so I was a little fatigued. But honestly, it probably would have been just as hard if I was fresh. I counted all of his videos that say handstand in the title, and I found about 30. Impressive, right? Next up is Lucy Lismore, who's a personal trainer and also specializes in calisthenics. Perfect for this video, right? In addition to that, she also has a pretty inspirational weight loss transformation story where she lost 30 kilos or about 66 pounds with body weight training and eating healthier. I'll be honest, I only went to her channel because someone on Reddit recommended her for handstand workouts, but I for sure got sidetracked and watched all of her transformation videos. Pretty cool to see. The first video I watched was a 20 minute beginner handstand routine and it was probably the best beginner handstand routine I've ever seen. Friends! No. You're on camera, baby. It's 20 minutes long, but you don't go upside down until about the 15 minute mark, which is crazy to me, but crazy in a good way. The very first time I started practicing handstands, I just kicked up and fell over. No warm up, no wall, no nothing. And probably 100,000 kick ups later, I am where you see me today. Still haven't perfected the handstand, but pretty decent sometimes. I do not recommend this approach. 
In most handstand routines, I see the chest to wall handstand is either the first or second progression, but in Lucy's video, it was the very last. So if you don't have any experience putting weight on your hands or going upside down, this might be a good way to ease into handstands. I definitely struggled a bit to find that perfect 90 degree angle, but I think I found it in the end. Even though I can somewhat hold a handstand currently, I found a lot of benefit from watching Lucy's videos. For example, on one of her drills, the scapula push-up exercise, I realized I've been doing the form completely wrong and I was never actually activating my serratus interior. So even if you've already progressed a bit further in your handstand journey, sometimes it's kind of nice to go and revisit, or in my case, visit for the first time, the basics. The next video I watched of hers was a handstand tutorial, which was kind of like the follow along, but it was much more explanatory based. It had a lot of similar drills to the follow along video, but it included more and also explained concepts that she didn't address in the follow along, like how to enter and exit a handstand once you're able to do it without the wall. The last video that I saw of hers was how she taught herself how to handstand, basically her handstand journey. She talks about common issues adults have when starting to learn handstands, especially when they don't have a gymnastics background, like fear of falling or getting sore wrists, which is something I hadn't thought about. I started learning how to do handstands when I was 20, and even though I never warmed up, I was super fortunate never to get any sore wrists. I also never experienced that fear of falling, which I'm honestly not really sure why, because it makes total sense that if you don't have any kind of experience being inverted, that your first time going upside down would be a little scary. The fact that Lucy not only addresses these issues, but also shows different ways you can overcome them is pretty cool. Like how she shows different kinds of wrist mobility exercises, as well as even earlier progressions before the chest and wall handstand to get you used to being inverted and putting your weight on your wrists. Third up is calisthenic movement, and this channel is extremely popular, for good reason too. Intense. I first found this channel when I was starting to learn backflips and I just poured over all of the videos I could find. So for handstands, the first video I watched was a four minute tutorial made back in December of 2014 and it has almost two million views. I'm pretty sure it was the most popular handstand video that I watched. What I liked in particular about this video was that it not only showed the progressions for every drill and how it should look like, but it also showed the visual of how it should not look like, which in my opinion, in certain scenarios can definitely help more. It takes a true mastery of a handstand to be able to show how to do it correctly, as well as all of the variations on how to not do it correctly. This is the first time I've ever done this a little scared. The next video I watched gave three easy tips to improve your handstand. He talks about shoulder mobility, balance, and to use a partner when training. The first two were pretty unanimously talked about among all the channels, but the last, to use a partner to hold your legs when you kick up, was definitely new. Unfortunately, the day I did this video, I didn't have a partner to hold my legs, but I can see why that would help. You waste less time getting into the handstand and end up spending more time working on the balancing aspect. The last video I watched goes through a series of handstand drills from the most beginner to the most difficult. The video was only only four minutes long and honestly by a minute in it was already too advanced for me. That's how difficult it was. Whew. It's been a while since I did that. Regardless though, I love the hype. Even though they were doing stuff that I'm nowhere near doing, I was feeling it, you know? I was rooting them on. Seven years later and behind the screen of my laptop. Yeah, baby! Fourth is Natalie Record. I'm super excited about this one. I hadn't heard about this lady before, but she was highly recommended by a couple of different people, so pretty excited to check out her stuff. You ready, baby? She's ready. Let me tell you something. I was really impressed about how many videos about handstands Gabo had on his channel until I got to Natalie's channel. So she has 135 videos in total and about 90% of them are about handstands. That is some dedication. And after some further research, I've realized that Natalie is actually a professional hand balancer, which makes sense now. She does hand balancing performances, which you can actually find some videos of that on her channel, as well as a lot of different kinds of handstand workshops and tutorials. 
So I started off with their 15 minute follow along daily handstand routine. I just love follow along workouts. Like it makes me feel like I'm actually working out with someone even though I haven't in over a year. And they're just a lot more efficient, especially Natalie's. Natalie busted through that 15 minutes. All right. Oh my God, she goes so fast. Yeah. Her handstand kickups are so fast. The amount we accomplished in those 15 minutes really took me by surprise. We just flew. On another note, this lady has some crazy shoulder endurance. This is the most tiring handstand workout I've ever done. We were going through these handstand hold endurance exercises and I was struggling, man. I was on the struggle bus. Next, I watched your video about tight shoulders and how to fix that for handstands. That was kind of life-changing for me. So you might know this, but I'm an Ogilvy, and Ogilvy's are known for having extremely tight but strong shoulders and non-existent calves. And even though I've been doing generic shoulder stretching exercises for years to try and fix this, my arms still don't go 100% straight when I raise them above my head. In Natalie's video, she broke down all the reasons your shoulders might be tight, and I realized what was inhibiting me. I was always stretching the exact same muscles around my rotator cuff, but neglecting the ones that I actually needed to stretch, the ones that in my body were holding me back. The third video I watched was a thoracic spine mobility video and she explains the importance of your thoracic spine and having it be mobile for handstands, not only normal handstands, but other variations. So for me, I never really thought about my thoracic spine mobility before and this was kind of eye-opening to me. Like, hey, why have I been neglecting this? I should look into this more and I clearly need to. And this was the pattern that I found with her video. She just has so much information about handstands things that I would have never thought was related to handstands, she just explains them in totality. 75 years later. I just realized that I forgot to conclude the video. My bad. Anyways, the winner to this video is Natalie Record. All of the channels are great for handstands and some might prove even more beneficial to certain people, but for me at least, and the majority of people I'd say, Natalie is a clear favorite. I've been doing her daily handstand routine, not daily granted, but about three times a week for the last month and I can already feel improvement already. It's super quick and efficient and breaks down the handstand into easily digestible chunks. You got your kick up and your balancing aspect. Drill them both and you got your handstand. So simple yet so effective. She just knows so much about handstands that she's made an entire YouTube channel about it. You gotta go check her out. Now that we have our winner, I'm ending it here. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helped me out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.